Oh man, I'm glad I listened to you. Kautzit and Bagpipe are putting in the work. Such good operators. Senpai? No, I don't have any more yellow certs. Well, you better roll then. What? Do you want me to roll while the limited banner is up? Yes, Blemishine is a very good and versatile operator, and Ayafatla is one of the best operators in the game. Let me tell you about her. Ayafatla is a single target caster which means she deals art damage to one enemy, but she is way more than that. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let us take a look at her talents. Her first talent is Pyrobreath. All caster operators gain plus 14% attack when Ayafatla is deployed including Aya Fiatla. A good buff if you are clearing a stage with a lot of high defense enemies and you deploying multiple caster operators. Her second talent is Wildfire. Immediately obtains a small random number of skill points after deployment, from 7 to 16 at potential 1 and from 10 to 20 at potential 3. While it is RNG based, it helps her get her skills as fast as possible making Aya Fiatla a great hella drop and it pairs great with her third skill. I mean, I already have Kilby. I told you she is more than the ordinary single target caster. Let me show you her skills. Her first skill is Dudo. Attack speed plus 45. Starting from the second use of the skill, attack plus 45% an ordinary damage skill that helps her burst a single enemy. Her second skill is Ignition. Deals 310% of attack as art's damage in the next attack. Deals half damage to enemies around the target and minus 20% art resistance for 6 seconds. This skill can store 2 charges at level 7 and 3 charges at M1. With a low SP cost and splash damage, this skill helps her deal with multiple enemies consistently, which makes it great for AFK strategies. This skill is worth to M3 or at least M1 for the extra charge hold. Her third skill is Volcano. Attack plus 85%. Range increases. Attack interval reduces significantly. Attack becomes randomly shooting lava that can hit at most 5 enemies within range. This is without a doubt her best skill. With the help of her second talent you can hella drop Ayafiatla to melt high defense enemies in seconds. With this burst, multi-targeting, and extra range, Ayafiatla becomes even better than AoE casters in maps with multiple high defense enemies. That being said, this skill requires some investment to M3 in getting Ayafiatla Ayafiatla potential 3 so you can get it faster, making it a more effective hella drop. The only downside to this skill this is the long cooldown, but it is justifiable for how strong this skill is. Her module is Miss Sounds. Grant her the trait of ignoring 10 of the target's art resistance, plus 180 max HP and plus 65 attack. It enhances her first talent from all caster operators gaining plus 14% attack when Ayafiatla is deployed, to caster operators gaining plus 22% attack when Ayafiatla is deployed. It is not game-changing but the more attack the better, and the art resistance ignore adds so much to her DPS. For her base skills, her first skill is Volcanologist. When this operator is assigned to a factory, Originium Formula related productivity plus 35%. Her second base skill is Catastrophe Messenger B. When this operator is assigned to the HR office, HR contacting speed plus 45%. Even her base skills are very good. Overall, Aya Fatla is a top-tier operator that can fill multiple roles. She can do single target damage, AoE damage, or even be a nuker. She can be very helpful to you whether you are a new player or a veteran. Huh, I guess I will go buy some yellow search from the black market. Yes, 300, please. ご迷惑をかけるかもしれませんがよろしくお願いします先輩